in the aftermath of the Mueller in the aftermath of the Mueller hearing, you said that you want to focus on what you're doing in the courts. Now, some of your Democratic colleagues believe you're simply trying to run out the clock on impeachment. Are you trying That's to run out the clock? No, I'm not trying to run out the clock. Let's get sophisticated about this, okay? <laughs> okay. For how long would that be? We will proceed when we have what we need to proceed, not one day sooner. And everybody has the liberty and the luxury to espouse their own position and to criticize me for trying to go down the path in the most determined, positive way. Again, their advocacy for impeachment only gives me leverage. I have no complaint with what they are doing. But I know Mueller, President, uh, I keep calling him Special Counsel Mueller, but Mr. Mueller said the other day, confirmed, confirmed in the public mind that the President has obstructed justice. You know what he said. He could have exonerated him. He would have, but he didn't. But he was not able to investigate the President's finances personal, business, or otherwise, and that is what we are doing in the courts. And so I'm willing to um, take whatever heat there is there to say when we, when we, the decision will be made in a timely fashion, this is an endless, and when we have a, a, the best, strongest possible case, and that's not endless either. I mean, it, it may be endless in terms of the violations of the law that the president is engaged in.